Exposing Coinbase's scummy, scammy beginnings and why karma always finds a way. Let me begin this by saying I have a personal vendetta against Brian Armstrong, CEO and founder of Coinbase. Back in 2013, at the very beginnings of Coinbase, I was actually one of their first customers. And all they offered at the time was Bitcoin. So you could only buy Bitcoin. And here's where these scummy, scammy beginnings come into play. So the way buying Bitcoin on Coinbase at the time worked was uh, you bought Bitcoin and you had to wait a few days to get it. And the reason for waiting for a few days, according to them, was a fraudulent check. They, have, they had to ensure that uh, no fraudulent means were used to purchase the Bitcoin. So what actually was happening, what actually was really happening, was because they didn't have the liquidity available on their exchange, the liquidity, uh, they had to buy the Bitcoin from another exchange in Europe. So they took your money, waited a few days, saying that it was because of fra fraudulent checks. When in reality, what actually was happening was they were waiting for the price of Bitcoin to go down so they could buy it on that exchange and in the process, make a profit. So you're probably wondering, what if the price of Bitcoin went up? That's a good question. They slapped your transaction with something called high risk transactions, essentially canceling your order. And by saying that it was a fraudulent transaction, they were able to hide their real nefarious intentions, which was really, oh, price of Bitcoin went up. Um, we don't want to lose money, so we didn't buy it. And we're going to say the transaction was fraudulent. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, what if the transaction was actually fraudulent? What if during those few days of waiting, they actually was able to figure out, oh, this was a fraudulent transaction? Two points that I'll make. Number one, I was able to purchase Bitcoin on their site, on Coinbase, many times before they started slapping my transactions with this high-risk transactions and canceling them. And it was funny because every time they canceled, the price of Bitcoin went up, right? <laughs> Meaning they weren't able to make profit on your transaction, so they canceled it and falsely labeled it as high-risk fraudulent activity therefore also damaging your, rep your reputation in the process. Now, this is point one. So you're like, okay, well, what if people make mistakes? What if it was just a human error? Like, people make mistakes, right? What if it was just an error on their part? Okay, which leads me to point two. Many, many people have had the same issue as me back then. And every time the transaction got canceled, the price of Bitcoin miraculously somehow went up. Hmm. Suspicious, isn't it? You can actually find these complaints online. People have made literally, possibly thousands of posts all over the internet on forums. And you can read the complaints and how scummy and scammy Coinbase was at the time and probably still is. So... This is just further proof, further evidence that karma always finds a way. Why karma will eventually find you. Here's the thing. Just like physics, every action has an opposite and equal reaction. In my case... It did take 10 years, but I got my revenge, right? 
And it's funny because I didn't get my revenge through me. I got my revenge through the SEC, right? The SEC. Now, here's the funny thing. I do not like the SEC, okay? I am not a fan of the SEC. 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 I'm not a fan of SEC. But in this case, I have to pick the lesser of the two evils, right? I have to pick the lesser of the two evils. And in this case, it would be the SEC. So I am hoping that SEC sues Coinbase into oblivion. I hope to see Coinbase fall and crash and burn. Just like how XDC, the real Ethereum killer, killed Ethereum. SEC, the real Coinbase killer, will kill Coinbase. You see, here's another thing. I hate Ethereum and its high gas fees. I really do. And I think XDC will kill Ethereum. Because it will. It's inevitable. XDC is the real Ethereum killer. Right? XDC, XDC, XDC. You see this as a common theme on my YouTube channel. How I always talk about XDC and how it will kill Ethereum. And Coinbase? Coinbase's support of Ethereum. This shitty coin. Oh, man. The more I talk about Ethereum, the more I talk about Coinbase, oh, it just, it just puts a flaming, burning fire. It lights a flaming, burning fire inside me. This fire of vendetta. This fire of revenge. It really, really makes me angry. Makes me angry. The angry I am, the bigger my smile when I see them fall. Brian Armstrong is a horrible, despicable human being. Trash bag. Shit coin. Yeah, I just call Brian Armstrong a shit coin. Because he's, he's just as, a shit, as much of a shit coin as Ethereum. You know, he doesn't even deserve to be labeled as a human being. He's a shit coin. Him and Ethereum and Coinbase, they're all shit coins. And you know what XTC does to shit coins, do you? Hmm? You know what he does. I don't need to say it. XTC. The killer. XTC will kill Ethereum. XTC is the real. The real. Ethereum killer. <laughs> Man, I made my points. Now I'm just reveling in the destruction of Coinbase. I really hope SEC sues Coinbase to the ends of the earth, sues them to death, and Brian Armstrong will finally realize. That if you bite the hand that feeds you, if you hurt your customers, karma will find a way and karma will get you back, Mr. Armstrong. Brian Armstrong, get ready to step down from Coinbase. Because <laughs> Coinbase will be non-existent soon. You and your shit company. I hate, I hate you, I hate Coinbase, I love me some SEC, baby, I love SEC, I love XTC, I hate Ethereum, I hate Coinbase, I hate Brian Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong, remember this. Karma always finds a way. And you're my bitch.